Wong, 2001, 15 years ago, I witnessed a man on a school trip being bitten by a spider. I was just nine years old, and it strongly affected me in my youth. I was both terrified by this experience, but also intrigued about this awesome and dangerous power of nature. And that's what inspired me to study biology. I spent as much time as I could reading all about the scorpion, the lizard, the octopus. I also spent my time reading about the rhino, or <coughs> the vulture, and the black cat. But above all, I was fascinated by the spider, and the spider silk it weaves, and its amazing properties, and the man that shoots these webs from his hands. <laughs> and that's why I'm here to tell you, I thought it was all in movies. Sure, it's a comic book. It's amazing there, but how great can this spider silk be in real life? Well, I was wrong. I'm here to tell you about the amazing spider silk. <laughs> now, before I talk about the incredible properties that this material has and its uses in the, in the animal kingdom, first, let's define what is a spider. So I have this short little illustration about what a spider is. This is a spider. This is not a spider. This is a spider. This is not a spider. Clearly, the defining characteristic is it has eight legs, obviously. I mean, it also has other characteristics. Its, its body is, is separated from its uh, thorax. It has mandibles in its front, and it has uh, pelipalps, which are those little, little tiny arms next to its mouth. But its most distinguishing characteristic is its spinneret from where it makes the silk. Now, let's take a closer look at the spinneret to understand how it works. Well, well maybe not maybe not that close. Yeah. That's, that's better. The spinneret is a gland in the spider's abdomen and it excretes this silk. The spider uses its its legs to take that silk and pull it out and use it. Now you know Spider-Man, you see him he shoots his web out really impressively Spiders are a little bit different. Now, let, let me illustrate that. So, Spider-Man, he uh, shoots his web kind of like this. That's, that's how Spider-Man does it. And, well, the spider is a little bit less impressive. This is how the spider does. Yeah. It's not the same. But what makes this material so remarkable is its properties. And we'll talk about that now, about the spider silk that comes out of the spinneret. This is the golden orb weaver spider. It's one of the most studied spider, studied spiders because it's its spider silk is one of the strongest we know of. Its combination of tensile strength and extensibility, so that means duration, uh, length that can be pulled without, without breaking, is just remarkable. And it's higher than that of Kevlar. Kevlar, you make bulletproof vests out of that. This is stronger. This, this net right here, it can resist the impact of a hummingbird. <laughs> Let's go into the chemistry just a little bit. Now, spider silk is a protein. So as most of you know, it's, it's made up of long chains of amino acids. And up, up on the top, glycine and alanine, those are two amino acids. And in the, in the sequence of the 
uh, protein, they're represented with single letters, G and A. This is an actual part of the sequence of the golden orb weaver's spider silk. Now let's focus on the gaga part at the end. <laughs> now that's, no joke, that's one of the parts of this sequence that makes the spider silk so durable. Through its properties, it folds, the glycine and alanine sequence, it folds into uh, so-called beta sheets. And to illustrate that, just take a deck of cards. And let's think that every, every one layer of this amino acid strand is one card. And the whole beta strand together is a deck of cards. That's it's quite durable, resists a lot. But when force is applied in a direction, and you look at the interaction of these cards, there's a little drop of glue between each, between each card, then it can extend a certain duration, a certain distance. And imagine 100,000 of these beta strands in the spider silk, and then you know how far it can actually extend and, and what makes it so impressive. Now let's look at some of the applications, and the spider has used this silk to dominate a lot of different elements. This is the mesotail spider. This cute little guy is one of the oldest spiders that exists. It's been unchanged for tens of thousands of years. And it has used its spider silk to survive on the ground. So it burrows and makes a hole. I mean, I, I've made a hole. But what it does with its silk is it makes a door. Build a door. <laughs> Have you ever built a door? I haven't. It builds a door in the ground that it covers with moss to camouflage it. It lies out those, those strands you see in the top left. Those are tripwires. So when a, when a prey walks over, it feels the vibrations. It lays its legs on there and feels the vibrations. And as soon as prey goes by, it pounces. Where's the spider? There it is. <laughs> Not only has spiders dominated the earth with its spider silk, it's also dominated the skies. This little ar ar arachnid climbs up there, and it doesn't just build a web. No, it uses that thread hanging off the back of it to catch a gust of wind, which picks up the thread and the spider and sails through the air majestically like a bird. <laughs> the spider can fly. <laughs> That's not the only element. This spider here, this is the European water spider. Guess what it, what it does? It uses its silk to capture air bubbles, which it then takes underwater puts them under a net, and builds its house in, a, in an air bubble under the surface. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, spider silk does this. So with all these amazing facts about the spider, and I have nothing else to say, the best thing to do is just to put it in song. And like every superhero has a sidekick, every slammer has a best friend with a guitar. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Spider silk, spider silk, it consists of protein milk, high tensile strength and little mass. It comes out of a spider's spinneret. Hey there, now you know about spider silk. <laughs>